Hi friends! Today we will learn about the various modes of nutrition. So let's start. Let's first learn what is nutrition. All the living organisms, as in plants and animals, need food for energy, growth and repair. Nutrition is the process of taking in food and using it for growth, metabolism and repair. There are different stages of nutrition. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. All animals take food by different modes of nutrition. On the basis of their modes of nutrition, all the living organisms can be classified as autotrophs or heterotrophs. And their modes of nutrition are known as the autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. We will first be learning about autotrophs and autotrophic mode of nutrition. We know that plants can make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. In this process, plants prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Oxygen is released as a byproduct. However, animals and human beings cannot make food for themselves. And this is why plants or all green plants are called autotrophs and the mode of nutrition of plants is known as autotrophic mode of nutrition. And all the animals and humans obtain food from plants and other animals that feed on plants. So human beings and animals depend on plants for their food, directly or indirectly. Now let's learn more about these autotrophs. All the green plants are called autotrophs as they make their own food from very simple substances like carbon dioxide and water that is present in the surroundings, energy from the sun, and they do this by the process of photosynthesis. These green plants contain a pigment called chlorophyll which helps in making food by absorbing energy received from the sunlight. Green plants, algae, and certain bacteria are autotrophs. The green plants synthesize their own food, not only for themselves but also for the non-green plants, animals, as well as human beings. Autotrophs are of two types, photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs. Now let's first learn about photoautotrophs. All living things that carry out photosynthesis to produce energy are called photoautotrophs. And the process of photosynthesis requires energy from sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into carbon compounds. Now let's learn what happens during the process of photosynthesis. Plants drop water through their roots and take in carbon dioxide from the air through the leaves. The leaves trap energy from the sunlight in pigments called chlorophyll. And in these leaves, energy from the sunlight is used to turn water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. The oxygen produced in the process is released into the air. And the sugars produced are used for growth of the plant. And in this way, photoautotrophs use energy from the sun to produce food. Now let's learn about chemoautotrophs. These organisms exist in areas where there is no sunlight and often there are very high temperatures in general. These organisms exist in areas where there is no sunlight and often there are very high temperatures. In general, we can say extreme conditions exist. In such areas, organisms use inorganic energy sources such as hydrogen sulfide elemental sulfur, ferrous iron, molecular hydrogen, and ammonia to produce food in place of sunlight. These are called chemoautotrophs. Most of the chemoautotrophs are bacteria or archaea that live in hostile environments such as deep sea vents and this is why they are often called as extremophiles because they live in extreme conditions like a very hot spring or deep sea vents. 
and these chemoautotrophs are the primary producers in such extreme ecosystems. Now we know about autotrophs and the two types of autotrophs, photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs. And the main difference is that photoautotrophs use sunlight as the main source of energy, and chemoautotrophs use sources like hydrogen sulfide, elemental sulfur, ferrous iron, molecular hydrogen, and ammonia. Now let's learn about heterotrophs, or consumers. Organisms that feed on plants or other animals for energy are called as consumers, or heterotrophs. There are four types of consumers, or heterotrophs. Herbivores, that is, plant eaters. Carnivores, as in meat eaters. Omnivores, that eat both plants as well as flesh. And detritivores, these are organisms that feed on the dead remains of other organisms. And they can be of two types, scavengers or decomposers. The main difference between scavengers and decomposers is that scavengers ingest and digest the dead remains inside of their body. And decomposers digest the dead remains outside their body and then ingest the digested material. Scavengers do not decompose waste material, but decomposers decompose the waste material into smaller compounds that are again returned to the soil to be used by autotrophs. And both scavengers and decomposers, as in detritivores, act as the natural cleaners of the earth. Now let's learn about the mode of nutrition of heterotrophs, that is, the heterotrophy or heterotrophic nutrition. Organisms which are dependent on green plants or animals for their food are known as heterotrophs. Their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophs can't make their own food like autotrophs. So they have to eat other things like plants or other animals to survive. All the non-green plants, including human beings, are called as heterotrophs. Let's learn about non-green plants and why they are not producers and heterotrophs. The non-green plants lack chlorophyll, which is required to carry out the process of photosynthesis. Therefore, they depend on other organisms, as in plants and animals, in order to obtain food. For example, puffball, molds, bread molds, bracketry, and yeast. They also have heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So friends, today we learned about autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye